welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, we wrapped up another super cool EVA foam prop build, which means it's time for another one of our very informative tips videos. Now, you've seen us build many props so far and in those builds, you've seen us do things like this, like creating a shaped metal dome for our shield. Uh, you've seen us do things like wrapping a big barrel shape. You've seen us do stuff like this on the back where we've shaped our foam to curve in both this direction and that direction. And you've seen things like us form a slightly curved lens for our shrink ray. And now all these things are done using a flat piece of foam. So we're creating dimensional shapes from a flat piece of foam. How is that possible? Well, in this video, EVA foam, heat shaping basics, we're gonna look at just that, how to take flat sheets of foam, how to use our heat gun, how to heat it up and shape it to get dimensional shapes. So, if you're ready to hit it, let's take a look at the way we heat shape foam for making something. All right, this is really simple. This tips video is just gonna give you a quick little understanding on heat shaping. Now, if you've followed along with our videos, you've seen on every single one of our videos, we've done some level of heat shaping. And this is a very simple principle. EVA foam is obviously flexible and it goes right back in shape. Doesn't matter how thick it is, it is flexible. It does bend, it does twist, but with the heat gun, you can use the heat gun, you can heat up your foam, you can curl it to a shape you want, and you can hold it and let it cool and it will stay in that shape. And you've seen us do that on several of our builds. Okay, so here's one prop that contains several different versions of heat shaping. We obviously start with a flat piece of foam. We go from a flat piece of foam to this. Look at those heat shaped pieces on the back end of the shrink ray. Nice curves in this direction and in this direction. That's all possible by taking a flat piece of foam and heat shaping it and gluing it together. So we've got the ability to curve our foam up here at the front end where the barrel is, this whole barrel was a long straight piece of foam that we curved to make the barrel shape. So we can heat curl our shapes in both directions. We can take a long straight piece of foam and just curl it so it's easier to glue on the other side so we're not fighting against a stiffer piece of foam. Up here on the front end, we have two more ways to heat curl. We used four separate pieces to do this nozzle part on the shrink ray. And this is also like the back end. It's curved this direction and this direction. And once we attach the four together, we've got what totally does not look like it was made from a flat piece of foam. And then we have the center lens, which was also a flat piece of foam and we ended up heat shaping it over a giant styrofoam ball to get this slightly rounded lens feel. So all of this was flat foam. We've seen several different ways just on this piece to heat shape. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at a couple of those. Okay, the first thing we're gonna look at is this dome in the middle of the shield. You saw us do that when we did our how to build an EVA foam Viking shield video, how we took a flat piece of foam and we were able to heat shape it to look like a curved metal centerpiece to our shield. We're gonna look at how to do that first. So this is very easy to do. We're gonna take a flat piece of foam, we're gonna use something to shape it with, and we're gonna use something to use to push it inside of our shape. Now we went to Target, we found this perfect marble pestle. You find any shape you want. This happened to be perfect. We wanted a round dome. This was the perfect size we wanted. 
and we went to our local Michaels and we got a styrofoam ball that we can use. That's the perfect size to fit inside of here. And it's very easy to do. Now this isn't the exact size. We don't have all the extra around it like we used on the shield for, for the rivets, but this is just to show the technique. So we have our board out because we don't want to melt our cutting mat. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna hold it down. Now you don't want to get too close, you don't want to melt it. We're going to get it nice and warm. Ooh, that's getting there. Okay, here we go. Now we set it on the top like so. And we use our styrofoam ball to push it down in. And now while it's in there, we're going to heat it up a little more just to soften it up a little bit. That easy. Leave it in there for a few minutes while it cools off. Once it cools off, you pull it out and look at that. That is crazy awesome. And notice that it's staying in that shape. It's not going flat again. It's that easy. That is how pliable EVA foam is. You can shape it to any shape you want. Very cool. Now obviously, like I said, this would have had an, an additional piece on it that we would have flattened out to look like the dome in the middle of our shield, but you can see how awesome that is when you heat shape it, and the possibilities are endless. And we're going to look at a couple more simple techniques next. Okay, now we talked about how when we did our SR6 shrink ray, how we had one long piece of foam for this barrel assembly and how we created it to be a barrel shape. And this is very easy. Same thing we just did. We bring in our piece of foam. Definitely want to use a board because you don't want to melt your cutting mat. And you don't want to get too close to your foam because you don't want to melt it because it will start bubbling up and melt because like we've said before, the heat gun is hotter than Venus, man. The thing will peel your skin off and it'll literally turn your foam into boiling lava. But you get nice and warm. And then you come in and you simply roll it up like that. And you hold it while it cools off. The heating softens it up. Okay, now when you let it go, there you have it. You've got this major curl in your piece of foam now. Just like that. It loosens up a tiny bit, but that's about it. Now what this does is when you need to come and bring this around together and you need to cement it, this helps keep the foam from fighting against you. And you could have, we could have heated this up more, made it even softer, and rolled it even tighter, but you get the idea. You saw us come in with a shape and you saw us create our dome and it stayed in that shape. And you can take long straight pieces and heat them up to help you when you're curling. If you're going to be making, say, a gauntlet around your forearm or the barrel to a blaster or the barrel to our shrink ray. Very easy. Heat it up, curl it, hold it there while it cools off and there you go. You got a nice heat curve. All right, now here's another example. Let's just say you're making an infinity gauntlet, okay? Or any gauntlet that has scales on the fingers. All you have to do is take your foam. You can bring it over to a shape, like say this brass tube, and you hold your piece on the brass tube just like that. You just wrap it around the tube and you hold it and I can feel it cooling off right there in my fingers. And there, look at that. We've got a nice curve and we'll show you what we're doing. We'll come in with the next piece. Now we're going to come in with our brass tube again. We're going to hold it while it cools off. And I'm telling you, this is the best. This totally opens up so many possibilities when you're building. 
Now they're both shaped and they're staying in that shape. See that? Now what we can do is say we're making a gauntlet. Look at that. That fits right on your finger. And then two scales of a gauntlet. Now of course we didn't measure this. We weren't being meticulous here, but you can totally take these. You can buy a black glove. You can curve your scales and you can make them curve and be right around the exact same shape of your finger for a really jamming gauntlet. Possibilities are endless. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this heat shaping where we take two different halves and we're going to heat shape them in two directions. We're going to heat shape it this way and this way and we'll show you that next. All right, so we're going to use a ball to heat shape these two pieces that make up the tail end of the shrink ray. Now depending on the size you're shaping, you get the correct size ball you need. It's an expensive styrofoam ball and you can get anything to set them on. You can get a roll of tape, you can get a piece of PVC pipe and set it on there for what we're doing. We're going to use the slightly smaller ball and we're going to use the PVC pipe. So I'll show you how to do this. This is very easy. We're going to heat up our piece, get it to where it's soft. See how it's starting to flop over? It's getting really soft. Then you bring your ball in and you simply hold it and you keep it curved around the ball. That's it. And you just keep moving it around the circle and squeezing it around the shape as it's cooling off. All right, there's one shape. Now look at that, ta-da. Holy smokes, look at that. It's curved both this way and that way. And now, we're gonna come in and do the other piece. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring it in. We're going to curl it around the ball. Just hold it in the shape of the ball as it's cooling off. That's it. Look at that. Pow. That is some shaped foam. That way you can take these two pieces, you can attach it together, and you can create a really nice curved piece. Look at that. That is cool. Now that started with a flat piece of foam. Now look at the dimension in that. That is so cool. And obviously you would contact cement the two inside edges and you would stick it together and you end up with a really nice shape for the tailpiece. So amazing how you can take a flat sheet of basically what looks like foam paper and you end up creating three-dimensional shapes like this by heat shaping. Heat shaping, super awesome, totally necessary for almost every build you're going to do. And and all of this heat shaping is made possible by this monster, the heat gun. Um, you see us use it in every video. You see us using it for sealing our foam, but we also use it a lot for heat shaping. So it doesn't matter if you're shaping in one direction, doesn't matter if you're shaping in multiple directions and then attaching it to create an even more fluid shape, or if you're heat shaping into a mold, or if you're doing multiple pieces to be able to attach together. Heat shaping is a necessity, it's super easy, and it's fun, which is cool. All right, that was it. Super easy. That was just a basic look at how to use heat to shape our foam. Um, we just went through a couple simple techniques. We went through taking straight sheets of foam and simply doing a one direction curve to make barrels and things like that. Um, you saw how we took molds and we used a mold to heat shape a really cool dimensional piece for a dome. And you also saw how we used a styrofoam ball and how we took pieces of foam and we heat shaped in two directions, this way and that way, in order to create a really nice curved shape for a tailpiece to our shrink ray. 
And that's just the basics. The sky's the limit. Whatever you think of using to wrap your foam around or to foam or to, to form your foam into is totally up to you. So you can experiment, do your own stuff, and you're going to pick up a lot of stuff real quick because EVA foam and the way you heat shape it is cool. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that concludes EVA foam heat shaping basics. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. And don't forget, heat shaping is made possible by this monster, the heat gun. So, uh, that's it. Thanks for coming. See you next time.